hair loss has become such a vexing problem and people are having significant amount of hair loss even at very young ages like in the 20s and 30s be it men or women so a lot of people have uh, asked me about what is the best form of treatment or is what is the first line of treatment the doctors usually suggest for hair loss especially for the male pattern of hair loss that occurs in men which is also called as an androgenetic alopecia now this is a kind of a hair loss where you have a receding hairline or you have appearances of patches of hair thinning and baldness at the top of the head in the crown region now most doctors most dermatologists or trichologists would uh, first prefer the topical medications like a 5% minoxidil there's a lot of interest in minoxidil and most people want to know how does it act how fast does it act who are the ideal candidates for minoxidil now how does minoxidil act minoxidil is a medication which belongs to a class of drugs called vasodilators that is a medicine which causes blood vessels to dilate it acts by three mechanisms the first one is when it causes vasodilatation that is a an increase in the size of the blood vessels which supply blood to the hair follicles so thereby that brings in more amount of nutrients to the hair follicles and more oxygen so the hair follicles receives more nutrients and is more stimulated to grow better the second mechanism is when it stimulates the anagen phase of the hair growth that is anagen phase is the phase wherein the hair is growing and normally at any point of time 80 to 85% of all the hairs in your scalp are in this anagen phase so this minoxidil tries to bring in more hair follicles into this anagen and promotes hair growth the third mechanism is when it stimulates the dormant and the inactive hair follicles to enter into the growth phase and grow who are the candidates for whom minoxidil would work best minoxidil works best for the people who come under the category of androgenetic alopecia that is the male pattern of baldness which commonly occurs as an interplay between genetics and hormones the second set of people for whom minoxidil works are those in the earlier stages of hair loss see once there is a complete hair loss or there is a bald patch which is devoid completely of hair follicles minoxidil would obviously not work on that so the earlier you start Uh, using minoxidil for this male pattern of baldness the better it is and the better it will work now who are these category of people for whom minoxidil will not work the first is if the person is on some medications which cause hair loss like chemotherapy medications or certain other drugs that contribute to hair loss minoxidil will obviously will not work in that category and minoxidil will also not uh, work in the category where there is too much of scarring on the scalp there is a burn injury or there have been some multiple abrasions where the whole scalp is scarred because scarring will destroy the hair follicles and if there are no hair follicles minoxidil cannot work so this is the second set of people for whom minoxidil will not work and minoxidil will also not work in the final stages of uh, hair loss stage 7 where there is a completely clean scalp with no hair follicles whatsoever in this category of patients also minoxidil is unlikely to work now how are the timelines like how long should a person apply minoxidil there is no magic in minoxidil and there is no shortcut minoxidil is something that has to be applied every day continuously regularly on the scalp and the results are variable from person to person some people see results within 2 months itself but some people might have to use it for 6 months to 8 months before they can see any results so patience is required for people using minoxidil for hair growth it might take anywhere between 2 months to 6 months to 8 months to see some visible results on the scalp are there any side effects associated with minoxidil now minoxidil is relatively safe it is only a topical solution and not ingested so it is relatively safe but some people may experience some form of a scalp irritation especially if minoxidil is used on an alcohol base and not on a water base there are more chances of getting some kind of itchiness and irritation in the scalp in those cases you can just shift to a minoxidil with a water base now some people have lot of uh, pimples on the forehead so when they apply minoxidil solution might just come down and you know affect the area where the pimples are there so it obviously causes vasodilatation here itself and worsen them so if you have uh, pimples or inflamed area on the forehead make sure that the minoxidil that you use does not fall down into this area you can apply you know some kind of a band or something and make sure that the minoxidil stays only on the scalp and does not leak down onto your face and uh, cheeks 
Some people experience dryness, flaking or some kind of a white powdery residue that can happen because minoxidil is a, is a white powdery substance which is normally mixed in alcohol base or water base which would help in permeation of this minoxidil molecule through the scalp. So therefore it's not very worrisome if there is some kind of a white residue or flakiness you can just uh, dust it off or you can use you can shift to minoxidil that is there in an uh, aqueous base rather than an alcohol base. Initially in a beginning few days to few weeks of using minoxidil there might be an increased shedding of the hair that is mainly because of shedding of the weakened hair and is nothing to worry about. You need not worry that I'm applying minoxidil and I'm losing hair. That can happen only initially and that too that's weak hair. It will start working and you will see some amount of hair growth as you keep using it and this initial minimal hair loss is nothing to worry about. Very rarely, uncommonly, some people might experience some amount of lightheadedness or dizziness or an increased heart rate palpitation with the usage of minoxidil. This is again very rare but then if you do happen to experience such kind of symptoms, it is always better to stop using minoxidil and go and consult your doctor. So to summarize, minoxidil is the most commonly used either over-the-counter or a prescription-based topical hair growth solution, especially for men, especially for the cases of androgenetic alopecia. But what is important to remember is that patience is necessary. Minoxidil does not work overnight. Some people may see results in two months and some people may take six to eight months and some people may not even see results with that. So it is important that you apply minoxidil every day for at least two months, six months or eight months before you begin to see results. And the earlier minoxidil is used, the better it is. And not just minoxidil, it is very important to also know that for a good hair growth to occur, a nutritious diet is very important. Not just the macronutrients like proteins, carbohydrates and fats, but micronutrients like vitamins, not only biotin, but also B12, B2, B5 and minerals like copper, iron, manganese, zinc. All these are also very important for adequate hair growth. So a good varied diet is very important. If you're not able to eat a varied diet having fruits and vegetables and other food substances every day in your life, just go ahead and take the help of supplements. There is absolutely no harm in using supplements to support your diet such that your body gets the required vitamins and minerals. Try to get as much good sleep as possible, be as stress-free as possible, avoid smoking, avoid too much of alcohol. These can also contribute to increased hair loss.